the Muxer module is additional. But what it gives you the ability to do is bring in a muxed image like this. So you, you've got stereo right eye, left eye, and be able to record muxed on the two, uh, either pre record pre-muxed material to a laptop or bring in, with the Kona 3 card, two channels of stereo 3D. So you have right eye, left eye from camera one on Kona card one, right eye, left eye from camera two on Kona card two. So you'd have two muxed inputs. Let me go back to the shoot room and I'll bring up a... a I'm not gonna buy that right away. Um, yeah, you, unless you're, you, you probably wouldn't, yeah. unless you, uh, unless you needed it. But then you, you, you could be able to have 3D on one and 3D on the other. So this, if this monitor was a 3D monitor, it would be outputting 3D right now, right eye, left eye, and and muxing it to 3D. So the muxer module gives you the ability to have two channels of 3D in the computer. You can always add the module later. You don't have to buy the module right right away. Um, but this is the only system that allow you to do two channels of 3D, you know, in That's one amazing. in one recorder. And with the laptop, with the MD Quad, two channels of 3D on a laptop, quarter resolution instead of half resolution. Do you have them in stock now yet, or do we have stock on the MD Quads? Yeah. Uh, cool. I tried buying them from you. Know, yeah, yeah. A while ago. Um, no one. Yes, has them. we do. We have stock. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah. we have three in stock right okay. now. Yeah. Um, and uh, and I mean I, it's a great it's a great uh, feature for anything. I mean you can use. I mean think about it with this with two channels uh, with two channel recorders you can re you can record up to eight cameras H eight H H H D S D I cameras with a two with a two X system, or four cameras on, on that. And you can, you know of course your outputs are going to be quad in live and then uh, or you could select any of your four cameras output. You've only got one output of the, of the laptop and two outputs of this. So you could have two quad outputs during live and then play back individually all eight cameras. So you could have an eight camera system built into it to a, to a Q-Tape. As a matter of fact, if you use two Kona 3 cards and the muxing module, you could have 16 cameras recorded on Q-Tape. Really? Yeah. Wow. Of course, they, each, each one of your playbacks are going to be quarter, quarter res, but, you, but still, if you, HD, you blow up HD to quarter res, it's still amazing considering what video system used to look like. So the main the main features of QTake is that it records HDSDI to, to two uh, individual recorders. It has literally every feature that uh, video assist operators could ever want, plus the ability to output real-time green screen keys as well as 3D stereoscopic output. I think the trial version you sent me doesn't isn't uh, looks nothing like this. Maybe on a, it's in a different screen or, huh. or something. But I had one question, which okay. is a simple one. I'd love to answer your question because it was just the categorizing and the, the bookmarks. You told me there's a different way to do that. Uh huh. So and I think the best thing for me to do is just use the use the laptop. And okay. what we'll do is we'll go and uh, we'll grab a. Uh, scene that's not 3D, uh, which would be this scene here. Now, I've got to go in and I've got to set it, set it to recognize this input because this input is 720p and everything else was 10, 1080i. So I go Shift Shift P to bring up my project window. I hit Detect and it automatically detects the camera. <coughs> and okay, now I have this footage. So let's say I want to go so ahead. Shift P Shift P hits the. Uh Shift P brings up, and okay. and the function key here. One of the great things is that the function key on this laptop will it, it'll, sh it'll show you the shortcut for every single thing on the screen. So okay. if you want to see what what the shortcut key is, it's right there. So now, for example, I'm going to go ahead and play back this footage. So let's say I'm recording. I hit, I go ahead and hit record, and now if I want to mark an endpoint um, on here, I can mark an endpoint, uh, mark an out point. I can do that, and if I want to, if I have the chapters open here, I can select a new mark, and it'll give me a bookmark right there. And I can put as many bookmarks there as I want to. And then, obviously, if you're recording in a series, I'm not sure if this is set up for multiple endpoints. Yes, it is. So, or you can do another endpoint. So, and that's in the category. That's in the. Uh Chapters. chapters. Chapters is where you, you get bookmarks. And you can name each one of those bookmarks if you want to. You know? Hey guys, anybody have a black Mercedes? 
No? No. Black Mercedes? Uh, so, you know, you can name the chapter, you can even name the chapter, and then you click it again, it brings up a different chapter. So now if I go ahead and I stop recording. Oh, so if you click chapter again, then it's going to set up another chapter? It'll set up, a, yeah. So now if I go ahead and go to the playback mode, I can play back, and right now it's playing the last one, but I can go to each successive um, clip. So I can play back that one segment, go to the next one, play back another segment. What if you want to play that marker right there? If I want to play that marker. So these are categories then, right? Those are, are yeah. chapters rather. Yeah. So if I want to if I want to go to a chapter, I hit previous and next on the chapters. Um, let me stop it. And then how do you do the bookmarks? So I, I'm going to the bookmarks right here. Previous and next takes me to the bookmarks. Okay. So, what would you click to get to the bookmarks? Yeah. It's the chapters. Chapter. Okay. chapters. So chapter is just a bookmark. Yeah, and then and then the play line, the mark in the play line takes you to the in and out points. Okay. So I can quickly either get to it. I can do it either way, in and out points or chapters. Now the in and out points have to be set up using. Uh, let's see. Okay, so I'm dogging down on the system a little bit. So what that means is I'm probably I probably set up to record in a high quality instead of with a laptop. You're a little bit challenged. You better to record in Apple Intermediate. Okay, um, but uh, let me see. I'm, I'm, I'm going to bring up the browser real quick, and in the browser menu, I can go and see uh, any of the scenes that I might have shot. If I want to bring up a scene and bring it up and play it back, and now I can go ahead and add if I want markers now let's say I or in points and out points let's say I want to make that my in point I want to make that my out point the, marker the mark the marker is up here on the chapter it's a new new, new yeah. chapter okay. yeah so now and this tells me whether or not I'm looping right there I can turn, turn the loop off and then also anything with a with a round dot has a long click so I, if I do a long click on this I can also see I'm going to pong mode and that just goes back and forward. So you can loop or pong. <laughs> Everything you can imagine, right? So um, I'm going to go back to loop, and now it's just going to loop that clip. Um, and then the quad split again. If I was doing a quad, if I had four cameras here in a quad, I could play back one, two, three, four. And as you can see by the screen, wow, so cool. yeah. As you can see by the screen, you lose a little bit of resolution. Yeah. In so what you're seeing. So the, what? Yeah, exactly. You can see it playing. Yeah, yeah, it is a lot softer. Yeah. yeah. But you know, I mean, so and that pr producers will love doing it with the mod quad. Right? Yeah, yeah, with the MD quad. Yeah. With the MD quad. And the producers will love you. You know, as opposed to saying, if four cameras HD, that's going to be, you know. <laughs> That's a that's a two thousand dollar day. You know, you could do this for you know. I, I would think something a little less. 